Well, boys, or girls, it seems that Kanye West has finally called it quits. But now he's thinking about running for a presidential election in 2024 as the one of the most pretend parties of the United States of America. Called the Imaginary Party, which is why he can't run. I mean, just look at this picture. He tweeted Kanye 2024 as he has given up the 2020 election because he wasn't elected in the first place. He didn't even follow the process of how to enter this election. He just made shit up like a fake party which doesn't exist he made a fake party party political party of his own and he thought he could get it but he didn't I mean just look at this picture here Kanye West looking at himself lose the presidential election all alone is one of the most depressing images of all time. Right. Do you know why? Because Kanye West himself is completely and utterly unstable. Therefore, if we as American citizens wanted to elect a black rapper. First, we have to make sure Connie West goes to mental health facility and not just push him to be elected. I mean, we are lucky that hopefully the real election between Trump and Biden weren't sabotaged by Kanye or Joe Jorgensen. I mean, some of these people have have the right idea that I'm thinking, thinking about. If he truly thinks he had a chance at winning the election, I hope he gets help, because that sounds like the illusions of grander to me. And that's exactly what it is. Tony West needs help. He does not need our political support. He needs help. He needs mental help. I mean, 2020 has been a wild ride. And if you check my last video, which should have popped up shortly at the time of recording, Connie West is pretty much not the type of person who is fit for office. And he will never be fit for office. And if he thinks he can run for president of the United States in 2024, I'm sorry, but for the, for the next four years, wherever that may be, if hopefully Biden gets elected, it will not happen because Kanye West wants to run. I know what type of ideas Kanye West has because because of the fact that Trump is in office. He thinks he can step into the political scene and get in office when he's the only per person who's been rapping his songs for I don't know, more than 20 years. I mean, that's the only experience he has. He doesn't have experience in politics. The only people who have experience in politics is those who've been here for 30 plus years. Kanye has none of those experiences.
and the sad, the sad part of this pick is Kanye's delusional belief God wants him to be the leader of free world because only he can fix it all. Kanye sounds like exactly like Trump. He told me to stop rewarding narcissists. Now Kanye will. <clears throat> now Kanye will will focus on religion to gain more influence and power. I mean that. And that is true. I mean. Kanye was really has a rough time over the years. And I don't think that he should pursue with the election. I mean, some of these people are are talking shit about Kanye, and it's the truth. He put zero effort into winning. He wanted people to vote for him just because he's Kanye. Exactly. I did not want to vote for Kanye this year because I knew how unstable he was. And even if I did want to vote for Kanye, Massachusetts probably wouldn't allow Kanye on the ballot as much as every other state wouldn't want Kanye on the ballot. Just because I don't think, again, he has any political experience, although anyone nowadays who used to have a job as a waitress or a coach or whatever can be put in office if they knew everything about how politics work or if they study politics. I mean, I think people who actually study politics actually know what they're doing. I just don't think people who are mentally unstable, like Kanye West, knows what he's doing. I don't think he will steer the country into the right path. It seems that if Kanye really wanted to make it into the White House like Obama did, then he's gotta fix himself first. And he can't just say that he'll run in 2024. Why hasn't Kanye West at least go to a mental health facility? get himself fixed first. That's what I'd like to know. I mean, come on, there's a reason why nobody voted for the other candidates like Joe G Jorgensen and Kanye. It's, it's a new reality of how popular these two are. I mean, and I think, in my personal opinion, that Joe Biden is the only president who can and will save us. And I think that it will happen eventually when Joe Biden takes the White House. And that's why I don't think Connie West or Joe Jorgensen should steal the spotlight. This is why we don't include another third party or fourth party in the elections. Even though that's how it's supposed to be, it's not the way it is right now. You know, because it simply just doesn't work like that. I generally don't think that he thought everything through and even though he tweeted all of this
he's gonna run for president in the next four years even if he keeps hoping that he will run I don't think it's healthy for Kanye right now to be focusing on that I really really don't but these goons are encouraging him to run instead of focusing on his mental health which is the which is the horrible so solution you can ever do if you're running for president and I think some of Kanye's fan Kanye West's fans need to just stop acting like little kids for a moment and understand that Kanye West has a mental health problem that needs to be taken care of. We all saw what happened this summer. Don't make this 2020 over, over again by next year. And and you and y'all still not realizing that Kanye needs more than a stupid presidential support, you know? Kim should have supported you. This is pointing at her for real. Well, it's a good thing she wasn't gonna go through the best. The only support that she actually needed is for people to give empathy to Kanye to focus on, on his mental health. That's the most important part. Do I mainly agree that people have to make fun of Kanye West? No, I don't. But Kanye West in my opinion, maybe kind of deserve to be made fun of because he's not mentally well and he should realize that. And some people who told him on Twitter time and time again that he needs to seek help and seek guidance. And he's still not doing it. Until we actually see a more mentally stable Kanye West, he should not man for office in the next four years as as well as he tried to do four years ago see please seek the medical help you so desperately need i also suffer from bipolar disorder and the mania you're flying on will crash and burn into a depressive episode you may not survive. See? This person knows her stuff. At least take advice from people who know about these bipolar disorders, diseases, mental health issues, and actually seek help kindly. At least listen to those who are trying to help you instead of trying to go in the White House and you're not state and you won't be stable enough to think clearly and thoughtful. Last thing for the Kanye West supporters who supported Kanye West on his presidential run, please don't. Please don't. Instead of doing that, just please. Type in bipolar depression. At least type in that on Google. Do your research. Find out what it's about. And then maybe help Kanye seek help. Help Kanye West seek help. Because You can't put a mentally unstable black man 
in the White House. You mentally, you really can't do that. All because you think that Kanye West should be fit for office. I mean, if I want to see Kanye West be fit for a uh, White House in the next four years, I don't think he has the right capacity as yet. Unless he gets treated first. If he gets treated, then okay. Support him. But don't force him just because you just want to see him in the White House, just like Obama was. That's now how it works. And I'm glad Kim Kardashian isn't supporting him because he will not handle it. I mean, come on. He needs to take a long recovery to focus on his mental health before he does anything so egregious that it will not work for him in the long term. Just please don't let Kanye West run for office anymore. His mental health comes first. <laughs>